Hello everyone, back again here. I have a 2023 Model Y with some display messages on the screen. Let's check out and see what's going on here. What's going on is that the message only displays once in a while. And when I come over to here and I go to service and I come down here to notifications, here it doesn't say that there's any problems. So this is an intermediate problem once in a while. The only way to pull up them codes would be to put it in the service mode. To put the vehicle in the service mode is to hit the vehicle icon, come to software here, and you're going to want to hold down where it says Model Y here, Model 3, or whatever vehicle you have. And what's going to happen is you want to hold it down for about two or three seconds, and you're going to want to release it. And it's going to come up here, and it's going to want to ask you for an access code to get into the service menu. The access code is service. And you're going to want to push enter to enter the system. You're going to want to read this message. And here you see that we're in the service mode. And I can actually go in here and check the service alerts. After pulling up the service alerts here, I see that it says that the brake fluid is low here. And it also looks like. Something's going on with the brake fluid or the brakes on the vehicle. Let's check it out and see what's going on here. Let's open the front here and check the brake fluid. To check the brake fluid here, you're going to have to pull this cowl up right here. And to do so, you're going to want to work that cowl out. You're going to want to come over here underneath the windshield wiper here. You want to open it up. You can see the brake fluid's a little bit low. I wonder why. It's a brand new vehicle. What's going on here? From an outside view of the vehicle here, through the wheel well, I see that the brake pad squealers almost touching at 14,000 miles this Tesla needs brakes already I can't believe it let's pull the wheels off and check it out the front brakes are at one and a half millimeters and the rear brake pads are about two and a half millimeters when I look at these front rotors here you see how purple and glazed they are that's called warpage when I back the vehicle out this driveway here in the morning times I hear a clicking and that clicking noise is also then the brakes what happens is the brake pads are so low that they're shifting in the calipers of the vehicle the rotors here also is causing pulsation in the front at 65 miles an hour on a hot day the vehicle will turn around and pulsate a little bit with the wheel off here those rotors are extremely blue purple color um, that warpage is pretty bad and as you see here the brake pad is about one and a half millimeters from the rotor I'm glad I ordered some front and rear brakes last year for no reason let's go check out and see if they fit now I ordered these last year I needed the tires last year and I noticed that the front brakes were about halfway through. I didn't think they would go this fast, though. But they did. I ordered them from uh, Brembo Online. I have a couple links that I'll put in the description here about where you can locate this brake kit for the Model Y for front and rear rotors and brake pads. This Brembo brake kit I bought is actually an upgrade from the original. It comes with the front and rear rotors and the front and rear brakes. Here's the part numbers for the rear and the part numbers for the front. As you see, it comes with the brake pads and rotors and the brake pads and rotors here. Let's open them up. Let's disassemble the vehicle and put these brakes on. I'll show you how to do that. 
Check that fancy box out, huh? Here's the front brake pads, and here's a part number for everybody. I'll put the links in the description. Pretty cool, huh? Just checking out to make sure the brake pads are the same and the rotors are the same. They're all the same here. Now that I know all the parts are correct, it's time to disassemble the front and rear brakes and show you how to put front and rear rotors on a 2023 Model Y, which also includes a 22 and a 2024. There are the tools I'll be using to do the brake job on the front of the Model Y. And we're gonna be turning around and taking these T40 bolts out on the front and back of the calipers here and it's the guides for the brake pads and you're gonna do it like so on the back side of the front caliper you're gonna to want to take your E20 socket and take the bottom bolt and the top bolt out of the caliper. And you're gonna wanna pull that caliper back and find a hanger. What I did is I took a bungee cord and I put it through the caliper and hung it to the top of the control arm because you don't wanna put any pressure on the brake hoses where they crack or break or anything of the sort. Next we're gonna wanna Turn around and take this bolt out here. It's a 10 millimeter. Now that I have the front brakes disassembled, I can see what was actually going on here. And especially with this brake pad right here, you can see the crack right here through the brake pad. And there's only about two millimeters, maybe one and a half millimeters of brake pad there left. And also, how warped the rotors are. I'm just very surprised about how fast this went through brakes. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna clean everything up and especially this backing plate here, you're gonna wanna take some brake cleaner, clean the, that up and clean all the brake dust off here. Before cleaning everything, you're gonna wanna take a, a wire brush and, and clean any of the rust up a little bit. You want the rotor to sit flush. So you, uh, there's only a little bit of surface rust. It's not much, but it's from the rotor previously. And if you clean it up, the rotor will sit flush. After cleaning everything, you're gonna to wanna to install the rotor and the set bolt here. Make sure that you use a ratchet only or a wrench because you don't want to snap it off with an impact gun. Next, we're going to want to turn around and take the old brake pads and put them back in. And you're going to want to use a brake tool to spread the caliper. And as soon as the pistons come back on the caliper now, give the caliper a spray down one more time. Now time to install the brake pads and there is no front and back. There's no difference in the pad because they're all the same part numbers. I'm going to show you how to install them now. I had to use two hands here but the springs here are pretty strong and I had to push those down to get those in. And you see how they sit flush here? And then also, see how they're sitting flush like that? It's time to install the caliper now. When you reinstall the caliper, make sure that you hand thread these lock bolts here. I put some Loctite on each, and the reason I took them off is because I, I, I like to turn around and clean up the, the little guides right here. And then also in the back, make sure that you hand thread the caliper main bolts that hold the caliper together before tightening down because everything is aluminum. I torque down everything, especially caliper bolts and wheels, 
it's just safe to be cautious you know that everything's tight and you don't have any worries but to back up a little bit it looks really good brand new Brembo brakes and rotors on the front I want you to continue on the other side and do the same exact thing that you did on this side and I'm gonna continue on the rear I'm gonna show you how to take the rear part now to start doing the brake job we're gonna have to release this emergency brake I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick you're gonna want to come inside the vehicle and hit the vehicle icon and I'm gonna want you to go to service when you come to service here there's a button called towing and I want you to read this here the instructions say that the car must be in park with the brake pedal pressed so I'm gonna press the brake pedal here and I'm gonna push enter tow mode and you heard the calipers release and the vehicle is free rolling the vehicle is now ready to service I recommend that you put something in front of the wheels to lock the wheels so that the vehicle does not roll the vehicle's wheel now spins freely in the rear I can remove the wheel and start taking the brakes apart make sure you always use a jack stand anytime you use a jack you never know if a jack will fail but with the wheel off you have an electronic caliper here and what you heard when I was inside the vehicle was the emergency brake here releasing now that I can disassemble everything it's pretty much like the front we're gonna first though want to take these 14 millimeter bolts out of the top of the caliper and the bottom of the caliper those two 14 millimeter bolts out you can now wiggle the caliper free and just like before you're gonna want to grab a bungee cord and lock it up here after moving the rear brake pads you're gonna want to come around and take these E 20 top and bottom bolts out of this caliper bracket here next you're gonna to want to take this 10 millimeter bolt out that holds the rotor on here's everything on the rear and I could definitely tell it was kicking up some brake dust all the slide pins are moving freely they'll need to be re-greased you could definitely tell there's some warpage here the rotors not as bad as the front but definitely glazed you can see the purple in it still and these brake pads they don't have cracks like the front but you're still sitting in at about a millimeter and a half there almost two millimeters there's definitely time for brakes and the same with the front you're gonna want to clean the rust up and clean all the brake dust off and Looks like I'm uh, missing a plastic clip there. We're gonna have to put back in also. Here's the part number for the brakes. Some nicely wrapped like the other ones. Install the rotor and a 10 millimeter set bolt. Install new clips. Remove slide pins and grease. And put some grease here, like so. A little bit of grease and work it in and do the same on the bottom reinstall caliper bracket with E20 bolts make sure you torque down to 120 pounds when installing the rear brake pads, you're going to want to make sure that the brake wear squealer is in the front here. Do not put it on the inside. Make sure that it's on the outside of the rotor, always. We now have to decompress the caliper and reinstall the caliper for the brakes in the rear. To decompress the brakes the rest of the way, you're going to need a special tool like this to spin the caliper in the rest of the way because the piston right now is halfway out and to put the piston in the rest of the way it's like a vise that'll spin in the rest of the caliper now you turn around and 
turn the piston with the tool. After pushing the caliper in, you're going to want to remove the tool and you're going to want to see that the caliper piston is pushed all the way in flush. You can now put the caliper on. With the 14 millimeter socket and ratchet and a 17 millimeter wrench, I want you to tighten down the rear caliper and also on the bottom. Double check all your bolts, make sure everything's safe and tight and reinstall the wheel and make sure that the wheel is torqued down tight. Now that the brakes are done, we have to go in and we have to take it out of tow mode and recompress the calipers for the emergency brake and take it for a test drive. Now that we're inside the vehicle, I'm, I want everybody to pump the brakes and compress the calipers for the vehicle. When the pedal feels tight, I want you to hold the pedal and I want you to come over to transport mode and exit transport mode. and the steering wheel is free and you'll see that the vehicle's exit transport mode. When you go for a test drive, the vehicle itself will clear the codes, but you can also go through service mode and clear the codes out there too. With the brakes being done and the vehicle being pulled out of service mode, I can now go for a test drive. I'm recommending that you do anywhere between 25 miles an hour and 45 miles an hour to break the brakes in. On the rotors, there's a ceramic coating that you have to break in and wear in. If you do above that, ceramic coating will actually stick to the brake pads and will cause noise. I recommend that you do a slow pace and break the brakes in for the first 10 miles of the vehicle. First three miles between 25 and 45 miles an hour and, be, and below 60 for the first 10 miles. I appreciate everybody watching. If you like my videos and my content, please like and subscribe.